Hello you two. Today you will learn about the artist Georges Seurat. You can watch the video and read the fact file all about him. We are going to gather all the different facts about Georges Seurat and record them in one place using this organiser. We can see this organiser is split into different sections. So we've got number one, it says born, died, family. Number two, his learning and work. Number three, the pointillism technique. Number four, Sunday afternoon. That's about his painting. So we've got the different sections so we, we can record the different facts in the right place to help us gather all the things that we're going to learn about Georges Seurat. When we fill in the organiser, we're not writing sentences, we're just going to write notes because you're going to be writing sentences about Joel later on in the week and we haven't really got a lot of space to write sentences. We're just going to write a few words to help us remember what we've learnt today. So I've read the fact file and I found out when he was born. So he was born on the 2nd of December 1859 in Paris. So I'm just going to write that in number one. So, on second December eighteen fifty nine in Paris, and do bullet points and he has an had an older brother and sister. And a sister. And he died. 29th of March. 1891. He was 31 years old. So I've filled in the first box. I haven't written sentences. I've just written bullet points and I've just written the key information that I need for that section of the organiser. You could pause the video at this point and have a read of the fact file and think about what could go in number two. So his learning and work, what facts can you find that could go in that box? For the second section, his learning and work, I've just written down the key facts that I found out. So I found out he went to two different art schools at the second art school, he learned about sculpture and drawing. He did one year of military training. And first of all, he did monochrome drawing before he went on to doing pointillism. So I filled in the first two sections. So what you can do now is have a read through the fact file. You can also watch the video all about him and see if you can fill in some key facts to go in each of the other two sections. Here I have completed my organiser with all the important facts that I've read. So I filled in about him, his family, when he was born and when he died, about his learning and his work, about his pointillism technique and about his famous painting. So I haven't written sentences, I've just written a few words as bullet points to help me when I write my fact file later in the week. So it's important you do this so that later in the week you can write sentences about him and you can use the facts that you read about or that you learned from the video.